check it out out in Boulder Gold. Check out how awesome this place is. <laughs> me Contessa. I am out of the corner and I'm actually in a place called Boulder Gulch, California. So it's filled with all these amazing, incredible boulders and the essence and energy of this space is too much to deny that it is so super cool and awesome that I really had to share this with you today. I actually did bring a crystal with me and I did bring my cards so I'm gonna light up some incense and ask you to just chill out and relax in this beautiful space with me. Let go of all that concern, stress or strain, worry, all that stuff, let that go. Yay! All right. And so today, since it is the end of the year, I wanted to bring out some selenite and really just lift up our vibes and just give you a second to go ahead and feel all this amazing selenite energy and let that silence come into your body. Especially with each breath, feel that amazing connection that we can have of lifting our vibration and being able to feel our spirit guides and our angels. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Can you feel that? <laughs> awesome. A lot of us get really scared of being quiet and silent and going within, but that's where all of our answers are. And sometimes we have to weed out the weeds and the muck and all that yucky stuff that we don't like until we actually dig up and find all the awesomeness that is truly within us. So I'm gonna really say thank you, thank you to this crystal. Feel that? <laughs> I love the vibe of these cards. I love the advice that they give and just all around the pictures. I love working with the archangels. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. If you guys have any questions or want to leave comments about how awesome, you know, the card readings are or the selenite is in your life, go ahead and leave that down in the little comments down below. I'm going to get just a little bit quiet and shuffle these guys. The end of the year, I'm looking forward to more of this just amazing quiet time. So more creativity comes in, more flow. Can you see that? The cards are just like, we're ready. <laughs> I love it. Right? One more shuffle. Perfect. Does that feel good? Yay! All right, I'm going to get comfy. And let's go ahead, and I love doing my four cards. See what they have to say. Awesome. Ooh, Archangel Razili. Uh, ooh, this is all about your intuitive power, um, your intuitive guidance, um, reading from spirit. So it's actually saying take back your power. Use your God-given power to and intention to manifest blessings in your life. So if you have been hiding, um, like, you know, there are times where I do when I have certain readings, um, I get a little bit nervous and um, I tend to like um, be a little bit shy about it. But when I start to remember it's a God-given um, gift and that it it's for everybody, then it tends to allow a lot more ease and um blessings into my life. So if you're worried about using your gifts, no, 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 let that come out and feel that awesomeness, right? If we didn't need that part of you in the universe, you wouldn't have been created. So let that stuff seriously shine bright. All right, here we go. Clear your space. So this is a fun time to start getting rid of the old stuff, what you haven't been using, whether it's clothes or knickknacks, clutter, get rid of it. So Archangel Joeful, she's all about really like letting beauty in, letting your you know clothes and your environment be beautiful and infused with awesome sweetness. So it's saying get rid of clutter, get rid of it. You know what, you're never gonna use that stuff again if you've been holding on to it for another memory. Take a picture of it. You know, that takes up less space. Um, 
and it's saying clear the energy around you and use feng shui. So um, for me, you know, sometimes it's hard to let go of pieces that say were from my dad who's crossed over. And so I tended to hold on to that, you know, or the grandparents that, you know, kind of clutter. And even though I love them, I know that other people can use those things. So, you know, this year I've been working on clearing that space out and I can guarantee you um, it feels a lot better. It, it doesn't feel like we're holding so much onto the stuff, but that we're actually letting it go out and blossom. So clearing your space, it can be amazing and, you know, emotionally clearing as well too. All right, Archangel Jamal. Did I say that right? Look at that. That's awesome. So a few of us think that we need to, um, you know, die in order to take our life review and see if we've been doing things correctly, but that's not always necessarily true. We can literally sit in meditation and start to feel certain energies and emotions and memories and be able to speak our truth and be able to even sit in that silence and see how that affects us. So Archangel Jamal is saying, take inventory of your life. Um, and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So, um, if you have things that are unbalanced, go for it. You know, healing, it's not always in our comfort zone. It's not always easy, but once we get through, you know, the initial hurts and then get that scab, then, you know, sometimes we have a scar, but it's healed and we can like just accept it and move on. So resolving that change, remember, we think it's the other person, but sometimes we need to come back within ourselves and say, you know what? Um, I either need to change the way I'm reacting to you or just accept the way I'm reacting to you and let that heal over. Um, that's always hard, especially too if we have difficult relationships with our family members. So, oh, my much love to you on that. Okay, Archangel Uriel. I love that. Who doesn't love their unicorns that fly? Love this. So brilliant idea. If you have been manifesting and sitting in meditation and you've been having these great ideas, you know, yes, your um, idea is divinely guided. And please take action to bring your idea to fruitation. So that was me today. I literally woke up today and was so infused with wanting to come out here and be with these rocks. And I knew it was a brilliant idea. And I knew taking you guys was going to make me feel better and make you guys feel better. And so remember, sometimes when we get those ideas, they really are divinely you know, guided and they're perfect. They're a gift for everybody. So um, take action, have fun with it. Just be bold and courageous and go for it and let it kind of fruitation, you know? So also remember too, when we're talking about fruitation, that's all about planting that seed and letting the season for it to blossom. And I'm so, so glad I got to bring you out here with me today. So much love to you. I hope your New Year's is going to be absolutely amazing. 2018 should be a beautiful year for all of us and letting so much fun manifest you know, in our life and letting our dreams kind of become more a reality instead of worrying about our fears and not taking courage, you know, and those courageous steps to do what we want to do. So like and subscribe for sure and share if this is something that has touched your um, heart for sure. Comments. I love, love, love those. And I will see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.